Hi everyone, welcome to Technic Force Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to use CF Universal Autoresponder Adapter plugin. Let's get started. CF Universal Autoresponder Adapter connects any autoresponder using the Universal Adapter. This plugin can resolve the form code of your autoresponder and add leads without any special API. It's an easy to use solution that works with any autoresponder. First, I'll show you how to install this plugin. Go to your plugin section. Click on Add New Plugin. Select Install from Marketplace. As you can see, there are tons of plugins available here. And here you can see on the new section is the CF Universal Autoresponder Adapter. Click on it. Then click on Install and it will automatically redirect you on the plugin section. Now scroll down. Toggle this button to enable this plugin. And on your sidebar section, you will see CF Universal Autoresponder Adapter added. Now click on All Settings. And this is the admin area of this plugin. And you will see all your information like the form name, the date it was added on, and the action. Now click on Create New. And you have an option here to import an HTML form code. It is an option if your autoresponder gave you an HTML form code. Just click on it and paste your HTML code here. Then click on Import. Then all your details will be imported here. Now for our form settings, enter in the title, then enter in the API URL that you will get on your autoresponder's API documentation. Now go to your autoresponder. I have here Moose End. Now go to your API documentation and click on the mailing list and go to the API section. Under subscribers, Go to Add or Update Subscribers. Then click on Adding Subscribers. Now on the right side, you will see the details. And this is the post parameters. So you'll have to choose Post on your form method. But if there is Get, you can select Get. But for now, I'll select Post. Now copy the API URL. and paste it here. Now, as you can see, here is format. Now change this format to the format on your parameters, which is JSON. So type in JSON here. And here is the API key. Go to your Moose and Dashboard. Click on the settings. Go to API key. And your API key will be shown here. Copy it. Then paste it here. And going back, you will see here the request for the name, email, and other things. Now click on the plus icon. Now on the custom body data section, add the name. and enter a value for the test purpose. Then click on plus icon and add in email, which is required. Paste it here. And just for the testing, I'll type in email at test.com. Now here is your headers. And it is for the form header settings. And it is on application JSON. So you have to choose application JSON and it will automatically replace this to application JSON. Now after that, you'll have to enter in your mailing list ID. On your Moose end, go to your email list then on the mailing list section, 
Select your list and click on the three dots and select Copy Email List ID. Then paste it here. And don't forget to add the dot on the JSON. Then click on Test. And as you can see, the status is 200. Now go back to your email list. Click on View All Members. And as you can see, the email at test.com is now showing here. Next, if you want to use MailChimp, go to your MailChimp dashboard and click on Your Profile. Click on Accounts. And under Extras, go to API Keys. And to add the API URL, in this case, go to MailChimp dot com slash developer click on api reference and on this drop down click on list audiences then click on members and here you have to add member to list click on it and again, the form method is post, so you don't have to worry about changing the one earlier. So this is the API URL. Copy it. Then paste it here. And now, it's asking for DC, meaning when you copy your API key, like so. The one on the end is your DC, so copy it, then replace it here. Then, your list ID. On your MailChimp, go to Audience, click on Audience Dashboard, click on the number of contacts, and if you don't have that, just click on the Manage Audience section, then select View Audiences. And here you will see it, so click on this button, then select Settings. Now on the Settings tab, click on Audience Name and Defaults. And here is your Audience ID, or your List ID. Copy it, then paste it here. Then remove all the things after Members. Then for the body parameters, add in email address as it is required. So copy this, then paste it here. Remove the previous one. Then for the testing, I'll just add in email test at gmail.com. And as you can see, it has the user here. That means you'll need to set the basic authentication. Click on it. For the name, add in root. Now your password is your API key. So go to your API key, copy it, and paste it here. And again, the data format will be in JSON. As you can see, it's also asking for the status. So click on the plus sign. Add status, then add in subscribed, then test your settings. And as you can see, the details are sent successfully. Next, if you want to use MailerLite, again, you'll have to go to your API documentation. Go to your API reference. Under subscribers in a group, click this one. And here's your API URL. Copy this and paste it on your API URL. So this one is a group ID or list ID. There is hyphen H, which denotes you have to send all the data into header. So click on the plus icon and it is asking for the X Mailer Lite API key. Paste in the X Mailer Lite API key. And for the value, you will paste in the API key which you will get on Mailer Lite. So click on your icon 
and go to Integrations. Go to Developer API and you will see your API key. Copy it and paste it on the value. And for this one, we don't need any basic authentication, so deselect this one. Now for the body parameters, we will need the email as it is again required and you will see it on adding subscribers to a group. Now in adding subscribers to a group, on the hyphen D, you'll have to send the data on the custom body data and on hyphen H, you'll send the data here. As you can see, it is asking for the application JSON, which is already here and also the xmailer light. Now it is asking for the email name. So on your custom body data, add an email and then name. And now it is asking for the group. Go to your mailer light subscribers. Go to groups. And when you hover over your subscriber, on the left bottom of your screen, you will see the details will be shown. And that is your list ID, which is 11025746. So just copy that, paste it here. And then do the test. And you will see all the details which is successfully sent. Next, if you want to use Pursue app, for this integration, just go to your Pursue app, go to your API and Tracker section, click on API Configuration, and check on this box to certify that you will not use Pursue app to spam. Now copy this, then go to API to add loads and API test, where you will see your API URL. Copy it and paste it here. And here is your post parameters. Now first one is API key. Enter it to the custom body data. And copy your API key. And paste it here. Then, next is list ID. Now for the list code, go to your list section on Pursue App. Select your list and you will see your list API key. Copy it. Then paste it here for the list ID. Next is it's asking for the name, which is optional and you can add it here. Next, you will need the email, which is required. Now click on the plus icon and paste it here. Now delete this part, which we used earlier. And again, the application is on JSON. After that, click on the test button and you will see the data's that was sent. Now if you want to use this data into the funnels, go to your funnels and sites, select your funnel that you want to use, select your page and click on edit existing page. And you will see you have your form here. Click on the input that you want to get the information. And on input name. If you want to get the name, go to your settings. Create a new one and add in name. And add brackets and in between that, type in name. And for the name, it is not default, so click on custom. And for the email, 
Again, you will see the input name as email. So add in your opening and closing brackets, and in between, type in email. And select the email as custom. And all the other details are in default, so leave it as it is. Now, save the settings. And you will see the details will be showing on all settings. And just by clicking on this button, you can edit your details. And if you want to delete it, just click on this button. Now on your funnel, go to your settings. Then on select autoresponders. And you will see the autoresponder we have added here, which is test. You can select this and save your settings. Now visit this page. And on the form, add your details. And if I register this and refresh my list page, you will then see the new one, which is test 56. And that is it for today's video on how to use CF Universal Autoresponder Adapter plugins. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.